Good day. This is a general career and money reading for those with Leo in their birth chart. This could be for employed, self-employed, or unemployed. The point of this message is just some insight and awareness for you to keep in mind while building your paycheck, building your business, or looking to start your career. Personal career readings are available for $20. The link is in the description box. And you get your reading within 24 hours of completing that form. Universe, what does Leo Collective most need to know about their career? You guys need to strategize. You feel like results are not coming fast enough, but you need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the guesswork out of growing your business or your paycheck. What else does the Leo Collective need to know? Leo Collective. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft words that speak to the heart of your ideal clients. What else does the Leo Collective need to know? Profits. Welcome abundance into your life. Create a strong relationship with money. Rejoice in the opportunities and experiences that it brings. You may also want to start a manifestation journal. Okay. To my unemployed Leo collective, to know about strategizing, strategizing for unemployed. Okay, so <laughs> unemployed Leos got some things going on here. Someone's under judgment and trying to balance, I guess, what money they have left after a situation with an empress and some childhood friends. You could be the empress. Someone is researching your past. What does the unemployed Leo Collective need to know about strategizing? Someone needs to stop being foolish about what they're investing in. Work, strategize how you're going to get work. Okay, let's see here. All right. It says hard work and dedication are leading you toward increased financial prosperity. If you continue down this path, you will move up the ladder of success, either within a company or by building your own company. Learning and mastering a new skill will increase your income by allowing you to open up a stream of passive income. So someone may have uh, quit their job because they were not emotionally satisfied, they weren't paying enough, and they want to they want to they want to change careers. The universe says that's fine. Just strategize how you're going to do it. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy, okay? My unemployed Leo Collective needs to know about writing and copywriting, crafting words that speak to the heart. Some text messages. Someone is obsessed. Someone, um, oof, Jesus. You're going to have to make forward movements. You're going to have to communicate. 
right now you may feel like, yeah, you do want to communicate. But it says that you're nurturing an unhealthy relationship to money or you're indulging in workaholic tendencies. You're due to release yourself from a situation involving a toxic environment. So perhaps you were staying somewhere for the wrong reasons, but I feel like somebody's communicated with somebody and used their words through a text message to let somebody know they're no longer going to work there. Thus, you're unemployed. Okay. That was a good decision. Now you're going to be able to manifest healthy work environments emotionally, um, healthy emotional uh, relationships. Just make sure you are choosing self-care and self-love. But you have an opportunity. You just have to be honest with yourself about the opportunities that you're taking and use your intuition when it comes to how you're getting money or how you want to get money and plan on getting money. What does the unemployed Leo Collective need to know about welcoming abundance into their life? Yeah, new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. That's new job, new money, possibly new car, new house. Because you're standing up for your beliefs. Whatever toxic work situation that you were in, you leaving puts you in the energy to be able to stand up for your beliefs and what you believe in and defend yourself spiritually. What does the unemployed Leo Collective need to know about welcoming in abundance? Yeah, you got bank right here. So just rejoice in the opportunities that are going to be coming your way now because you left a toxic situation and moved to calmer waters. The money will come. The career will come. It could be a traditional career, though, like you may need to go back to school and study a new subject. Or you could be a teacher of some sort. With copywriting and passive income, you can actually learn how to um, create courses and sell them online, on like Gumdrop. So if you're unemployed with time on your hands, you are done working with toxic people and in toxic environments, you can, you, there's opportunities for you. Again, look up how to write, um, how to create courses. That could be a Wheel of Fortune moment. You can create a course to teach people how to heal from unhealthy relationships. Bless me. What do the employed Leo collectives need to know about strategizing in their current position? What do the employee Leo Collective need to know about strategizing during their current position? What do they need to strategize? A uh, Leo that's currently at a place of employment needs to be honest with themselves about the energy that they're investing at their at this company. The truth is you're putting in work, but are you putting in work to feed to build someone else's dream? Like is this fulfilling you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially? Is it? It says that you may be disappointed where you are and feeling that you should be further, but this is part of the process. Have faith that with continued perseverance, you can achieve your goals. 
stay patient and continue to dedicate yourself to the hard work that you've been putting in. But you have to be honest. Like I said, are you are you strategizing, helping someone build their their business or is it like, you know, how's it benefiting you? Are you getting the, the harvest that you've been putting in? What else? You're, you are strategizing new ideas for increasing or expanding a business. This is a time of new, be uh, new beginnings. Maybe it's time for you to earn a promotion or it's time for you to start your own business. But get some clarity and insight on how to improve your money situation because it's coming. So you need to strategize what you're going to do with that with that uh, promotion money. Are you going to put it towards more hard work to someone else's goals or towards your own? What does the employed Leo Collective need to know about profit? welcoming abundance into their life. Actually, that goes there and this goes here. What does the Leo Collective, oh, somebody has a relationship on their mind? Interesting. It's gonna be changes, could be changes to a work relationship. Aquarius could be involved. What's, um? what is the employee collective Leos need to know about learning how to craft words that speak to the hearts of their employer and clients. Okay, wow. So you got seven of cups and seven of swords. Somebody's lying at your job. I don't know if it's you or your co-workers, but somebody is creating stories, literally. It says dishonest behavior infects your workplace. Formulate a strategy. We got strategy right here to get what you want or leave your job before things get too toxic. If you are indulging self-deception regarding the truth of your finances, it's okay to open up and communicate about money realities. Somebody, somebody might need some more money for their job, what they're doing at work. And whoever they're working with or for, it's like, oh, I got you. It's coming. But it never comes. Or just somebody's intuition is like, nah, bro or sis is lying. Pick one thing to focus on and follow your intuitive guidance toward those steps. Check in with your gut feeling about business offers to make sure they resonate with you. Your boss could want you to try to sell something, but they want you to lie about the quality or lie about what it is. Use your intuition if you want to be in this toxic environment, because that's not that's not gonna work. That's not a good wheel exchange of money. If you lie to somebody to about something to get them to buy it, the exchange of currency, the karma of that money is not gonna be good for you. And it could possibly harm um it can harm the person that you're selling it to, your client and customer. Somebody is trying to manifest, though, manifest logically. But they feel stuck. They feel stuck at this job. What does the employee... Uh, the, they might feel stuck at this job because they're doing it to take care of a household or relationship, what does the employed Leo Collective know about welcoming abundance into their life, creating a strong relationship with money? You have the three of wands. You have something coming to you. It's actually could be coming to you pretty fast with the eight of wands, but it's gonna cause you more burdens if you don't balance your material life with your spiritual life. 
You may want to do some root chakra affirmations and listen to some root chakra frequencies so you can bring in whatever this is, okay? Because it says work is presenting you with exciting collaborative opportunities. You could also be traveling for work. You may consider hiring a team or new employee due to increased profits or scaling up if you own your own business. Just make sure you don't lie, okay? Don't feed nobody no illusions to get them to work with you, all right? Because again, that's going to be bad karma, so don't do that, okay? You got three of wands again. Somebody could be traveling overseas for a job. Might be better for you. Get you to calmer waters, Leo. Help you transform your money situation. Help you transform your business. Help you rebirth yourself. It's the cups. What does the self-employed Leo collective need to know about strategizing? Self-employed Leos and strategizing. got to make a decision once you figure out what you need to cut out when it comes to your business. You may need to cut out a queen of wands energy. Um, what does employee Leo, uh, self-employed Leo collective need to know about strategizing? Somebody's been strategizing with a group of people in regards to your business, either for you or against you. Listen to your intuition to know what it takes to grow your business. Don't listen to what other people are saying. Listen to your intuition about what it takes to strategize and grow your business. You could be experiencing both success in your business and enjoying a happy work-life balance and acknowledging any support that you receive. You have the support of the universe, your family and friends. Just make sure they're your real friends. Make sure it's not somebody that just wants to be in your business to possibly steal your business, all right? What does the self employ? Yes, you need to use your intuition about who's supporting you and your business. It could be a couple that's supporting you um, with their own intentions for your business. It could be positive, though. I'm not saying it's negative. I'm just saying use your intuition. What does that self-employed Leo Collective need to know about creating, crafting words that speak to the heart of their clients' copywriting? What does... Okay. So at first it was the Page of Cups and then the devil just flipped out over here. So Leo Collective, same with the unemployed Leos. Um, you need to leave out toxic energies from your business. You could be nurturing unhealthy relationships that's affecting your money and causing you to overwork. You could have a controlling partner or boss. Like, say y'all are both bosses. I told you that Queen of Wands had came out. Say you and a friend or family member are in business together. That person could be controlling. Or just make sure you guys are not staying working together 
for wrong reasons. And then let me see what that page of cups was because the page of cups that came out also, it says take, take a new opportunity slow. Your finances will be improving, but you need to relish the moments that make you a beginner, okay? You could possibly be learning from a toxic person. You could be learning how to run your business from a toxic person and it's going to affect your money. <clears throat> it's going to affect your money and affect you emotionally because they're toxic. Those positive and negative vibes are contagious. This self-employed Leo collective needs to know about profit, creating a strong relationship with money. Self-employed Leo collective. Self-employed Leo collected. Somebody's very independent. With their own thing. Yeah, you got that Queen of Wands and then the Magician right here, though. And the Eight of Cups. You're, you're in a situation, you're in a partnership where you're working with somebody, but... Working with them is affecting your money. That's the bottom line, real talk. So, walk away. It's affecting your money, working with whoever that Queen of Wands is. The Queen of Wands could be trying to manifest. What the, let's see. What's the Queen of Wands trying to manifest? They're definitely manifesting karma. And with this here, it's going to be bad karma. Negative karma, excuse me. What is the Queen of Wands manifesting? That is y'all energy too, though. So it very well could be you. Okay, so somebody is using a business to try to manifest people from her past to work with her and manifest relationships. For money, somebody could be making a money doing making money doing love spells. The most I can say is this: when it comes to love spells, do self love and self care. Like listen to a meditation. Do not do love spells on a picture of an individual that you have not communicated with and said, "Hey, is it okay if I do a love spell on you?" So and so wants to do a love spell on you. Do you mind? Get You have to get consent from people before spiritually manipulating them to love somebody. And somebody was addicted to that shit. Doing it as a business and for money. Yeah, they about to get messages from friends and family. They about to get messages from friends and family that that was unbalanced. And somebody's gotten sick from it. Aries, Leo, Sag. And it was air energy involved as well. I didn't see lovers, so I won't say Gemini. So between Aries, Leo, Sag and Aquarius and Libra energy. For the self-employed, the self-employed Leo, whatever you got going on with them, baby, um, you may want to you may want to strategize a different plan as far as how you're going to speak to people that you got money from. Because if somebody got sick from that, or say it backfired and it caused domestic violence because that person wanted to leave or got obsessive and was on some stalker mode and um, what's that show called? Snapped and stuff like that. You you responsible for that. You did a love spell on somebody. It backfired or it started wearing off. Somebody comes to you to, hey, do it again, do it again, do it again. That'll turn into fatal attraction. 
And ultimately, God is going to hold you responsible because you were doing the love spells. You do know that, right? So if somebody gets hurt in that relationship, somebody's going to get hurt that you're in a relationship with family, friends, co-workers, whatever, or your relationship with money. So just be more conscientious, okay? Let's get your money and law of attraction card. Y'all got Capricorn energy in there too, so I don't know if you work with a Capricorn or if a Capricorn could have possibly been doing work on you or um, Capricorn is in your chart. Either way it go, just strategize a better way on how you are going to help other people and make money at the same time, okay? Money and law of attraction for Leo Collective. Yeah, somebody's money is stagnant right now. Like, real stagnant. The physical me is materialized spirit. Some say that you should not want money at all because the desire for money is materialistic and not spiritual. But we want you to remember that you are here in this very physical world where spirit has materialized. You cannot separate yourself from the aspect of yourself that is spiritual. And while you are here in these bodies, you cannot separate yourselves from that which is physical or material. All of the magnificent things of a physical nature that are surrounding you are spiritual in nature. You need to open up your heart chakra. You use your third eye to, to do something to impact somebody's root chakra. And yeah. Yeah. That, that's that. Or you could be the one impacted by this. Take it how it resonates. But those are the messages I have for you, Leo Collective. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.